using those holes. Uh, but the motor does come with this bracket. No one at MES has mentioned this yet, by the way. This is going to be news to them, but here's how you mount the motor, is with a bracket with bolts into this. This couldn't hold one of my daughters up. It's uh, uh, an eggshell uh, over-designed by a hundred That's a hours. lot of design, this yeah. Is, this is some kid's uh, nightmare. Um, uh, CAD CAM project from college um, and is not actually manufacturable. You can't cast in these weights and get anything uh, to work at all. I kind of see what uh, their thinking was. Uh, this is a 9,000 RPM motor. This little cup holds this rotor. There's a little fan in here. I suppose this is done to try to cool the bearing. It's an absurd concept. There's no vent holes here. There's no air can get to it in spite of little mm -hmm. fan blades. They actually right. use to balance the rotor. Um, th that's the only thing I can imagine was being done here. Uh, there's no way this piece, and Victor uh, actually takes quite exception that Jack Rickard would question these very talented Swiss engineers. Pahoey! <laughs> I'll question them when it breaks, <laughs> and it did. Uh, we tried to mount it to the adapter, 162 pound motor with these four bolts to an adapter plate, which by the way, is enough heat sink to cool the whole motor without the water. But uh, <laughs> in any event, this, and I assumed it was this thick from the outside, right. not having taken apart the motor, it's a, an eggshell of a, an end plate. Uh, I wouldn't actually trust it to hold this bearing in place. That is the rotor at 9,000 RPM. This is a little bit of a hand grenade. If this goes, uh, this whole thing will blow and the pieces will hurt when they go through you. Um, but in any event, mm -hmm. this is a joke. But what caused the failure was that we used it for mounting. Had we used a bracket bolted into the cast iron frame of the motor, would have supported the weight. Unfortunately, it wouldn't have worked in the car. I don't no. know what we would have mounted it to. This no. was mounted to an adapter plate to a transmission that hangs from a motor mount. And we used the existing motor mount on the other end, actually quite properly used all, the all of them into the cast iron frame. Brian built this thing and it uh, was a pain in the ass, but it was a beauty. Um, and it lets it sit on the side, other end yeah. and this whole thing just rocks there. We put a belly band support around the center that mm -hmm. actually could support the entire weight, but it's actually more to move the motor a little bit aft uh, in alignment and into the proper position and to secure the carrier bearing on the long right hand drive right. shaft. Um, and it, it was uh, it was good. The whole thing was a good design, except what we didn't know was this is made out of paper. Hmm. And um, so that's uh, a little bit of a problem. Um, we're going to go ahead. Um, MES DEA can go blow and take their uh, exclusive distributor, Victor Tikhanov and Metric Mind with them. Um, you're off the island, guys. This is not an option. I wouldn't recommend this motor for anything, um, but we're going to continue with it since we've got that adapter, and I think we've got a pretty good fix. Yes. Trace, again, has got a buddy uh, here in town, Lucien... Lucien uh, Zelinski. Zelinski. An enormous uh, Polish person uh, <laughs> with a machine shop. <laughs> Nice man cave. And uh, <laughs> he, uh, he came and looked at this and just laughed. Before a glass of whiskey. Before we gave him a glass of whiskey. Yeah. He, uh, he just looked at this and laughed, shook his head. What's that? What are you doing that on the end of the motor? <laughs> so he's going to build us a new one of these. Uh, not seven hundred and fifty-eight bucks. I think three hundred and seventy-five dollars. What yeah, three something? Yeah. He's going to do a piece of aluminum. The full diameter of this and the full thickness. And uh, he said, we really need five of these bolts instead of these four, and he's gonna put in a pin, 
so the torsion right. of the motor is not really on the bolts at all. And, um, and he can do all that for half of what they want for a replacement part. For that part. For yeah. their POS thing. If a by happenstance you happen across one of these used, and um, Victor assured me he had hundreds of installations doing just fine. We found five, none of them rolling. Uh, one of them in Austin, Texas with a tricycle. The guy is delighted. He's got oh, it yeah. just laying on, on the trike with a belt drive, belt drive yeah. uh, to his wheel, and he thinks it's great. Um, so you, you may pick up one of these cheap. Don't mount it with this. And uh, in fact, I would replace this immediately uh, with something more substantial. Uh, this is a piece of junk, not only not worth 6,000 um, bucks, had I do, to do it over again, we wouldn't use it at all. We're gonna use it. It's, uh, we're gonna put a different plate here and uh, we may add a few screws uh, through the plate into um, the cast iron. Into the cast iron and I think it'll be fine. With our thrust bearing, our carriage bolts, our um, uh, balanced uh, thing, I think we'll be all right. Let's uh, so. let's talk about this motor a little bit, B. All right. Uh, I did another thing wrong. We're missing a couple of pieces of the end plate. I don't know if you can see this, but around the bolt holes, there's chunks have flown out of the end plate. And we're not too sure where they're at. Yeah. We don't want them down in the motor. <laughs> we're not no. going to do all that. So I uh, kind of worked this rotor out of the motor. And it came pretty easily till right at the end. And I had to give it a little tug. And there's something else I didn't know. So I'll share it with you. This is actually the encoder for the motor. And it's quite a cunning device. As it turns out, it's made by uh, SKF? SFK? A -A -S -S SKF. SKF, a French uh, bearing manufacturer. This is called a sensor bearing. The reason it surprised me is normally you would find this in the other end of the motor, uh, an encoder, um, to, uh, which the controller needs Really, I would say speed, but it's more than that. It needs angular position of the motor. This is a two-channel, 64-bit encoder. And what that means is that uh, it has two encoders in it. And they have 64 rotational positions. I guess that's about 6 degrees across 360 mm, degrees. Just about. Right and they're there. 90 degrees out from, from each other. And so by comparing the two and taking the readings... Um, while putting uh, phase power rotation to the motor, the uh, controller can calibrate um, to that motor and, uh, and, and be able to determine its position. Why is that important? We're going to have to discuss motors a little bit. But in pulling it out, I broke off the 30-gauge uh, wires uh, from the sensor bearing. It's properly called the sensor bearing by uh, yeah. FSK, SFK, yeah. and uh, yeah. and so we ruined that. Um, obviously, I can't get parts at all reliably uh, at any uh, reasonable no. price or delivery date from um, our friends at MESDEA, and so uh, Trace again went directly to SFK America. Um, they found a little different part number, uh, which has got a shorter wire harness on it. But other than that, it's the same bearing. Good. In a warehouse in Tennessee, and uh, it'll be here tomorrow. 90% um, of the motors, electric motors in the country, are um, AC induction motors. Um, and let's talk a little bit about that. This rotor... This is the uh, moving part in your electric car, really. Two bearings uh, with a rotor in between it. Uh, you can't really make it out on this because this has been sort of machine smooth. This is a series of uh, bars separated by insulators that have a 
a little bit of a slope to mm -hmm. it. This is called a uh, squirrel cage or a modified squirrel cage rotor. Um, and it looks a series of mm -hmm. coils, basically, although they're solid bars, um, that are not parallel to our stator windings. Um, and we talked a little bit last week about cooling and motor power. So let me attempt uh, an explanation of this. If you take a wire, mm 